was reminded of something this morning that I just sort of thought might make a good Adobe Captivate quick tip. And I just reinstalled all my software on my laptop, including Adobe Captivate 9. And I went to record a video demo this morning and I got this message here. And it says, capture is disallowed since high density display was detected. Please set DPI awareness equals one in Adobe Captivate INI and restart the application. So to explain that a little bit, what I do um, is when I run my computers, I use the full resolution that my monitors, uh, both my external monitor and my inbuilt uh, laptop screen, um, I set the resolution to the maximum possible, but I set the scaling. And for you Windows folks, um, I think I can probably show you what this looks like when you get into, um, if I type in scaling, yeah, we get into this here. So what I've done is uh, I've changed the size of text and apps of other items. So mostly what I do this for is because um, this year I'm turning 48 and my eyesight isn't what it once was. So I find with these high resolution displays, they're really great. You get a lot of stuff on your screen and everything, but the text suddenly becomes very small. And when you have focusing issues like I have with my eyes, uh, I set it at about 125% and that seems to work okay. But that means that uh, the regular screen capture stuff that Adobe Captivate does for you doesn't work. So you need to actually make a small change. And what we're going to do is we're going to go to um, the Captive, Captivate installation location. And let's just find it here. Uh, this PC, Windows C, Program Files. Now this wasn't available in Adobe Captivate 8, but it is something that you can change in Adobe Captivate 9. So there's my installation stuff. And we're looking for uh, an INI file, Adobe Captivate I, the icon has um, like a little document with a small gear on it here. Let me just show you what that looks like uh, a little bit larger here. So there it is there. So I'm going to copy this. This is what I like to do. And I'll just close. Uh, I should close down Captivate while you do this anyway. Um, and then paste that file here and edit it on my desktop where I have full control. And we'll just change that to a one. Save it. And I'm just going to cut it and return to that location and paste it right over top. And I will get, you know, an administrator warning, but that should work totally fine. Replace the file in the destination. Absolutely. Administrator permission, yes. So now what will happen is if I launch Adobe Captivate 9, and now I can do screen capture using video demo. Guys, if you thought this video was useful, please share it with your colleagues. If you need help building your next e-learning project, consider hiring me. My focus is to create effective learning that helps you achieve your business goals. Visit my website at paulwilsonlearning.com. Follow me on Twitter at paulwilsonld. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel.